FASD presents differently at different stages of someone's life. So early on, you'll get the most people with the most severe deficits being presented. So that first year of life, it's where the neurological problems are really clear. Then what you'll see is around the time of about two or three, when they start to interact with other children, going to nursery, they don't quite fit in, that their social interaction isn't quite right, but you can't quite often put your finger on it. And that's where you may get a group of people presenting where you'll get the idea you need to see somebody. The next stage for those people where it hasn't been picked up by then is often when you get to year two or three uh, at infant school and primary school level is because then when they start to sit down and they start to work and their peers are being able to concentrate more and they're still acting developmentally more like a reception child, that's where you will often start to find um, that the difference will become clearer. The last group often will present when they get to senior school is where their brain function, the executive function, the front parts of the brain, when that gets challenged, that causes a real problem. So they may have held it together through primary school because primary school doesn't challenge that part of someone's brain. But in secondary school it does and they often fall down. One final area you may see it is then later into the criminal justice system when everybody's been missed. When problems start to arise for these individuals and they have fallen through the gaps and they have problems. And we've had lots of people who've come through that route as adults um, where they've been missed throughout their childhood and they get into the wrong system and the system then directs them to us.